And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a small game called Sherlock 13. Yes, it's actually Sherlock 13 because there are 13 suspects, uh, and you're trying to figure out which of them committed the serious crime. Who are these suspects, you might think? Uh, Moriarty, of course. Uh, Irene Adler, John Watson, Sherlock Holmes is a suspect. What? Oh, well, anyway, it's from Hope S. Wong, who's done some really great little games. This is a micro game, essentially, but it's a micro game that's deduction. You're working together to figure out, well, not working together, you're working against each other to figure out who the criminal is. And one of the things I think that's interesting here is it says it's 15 minutes. That's a lie, folks. It's actually like 5 to 15 minutes. It's a really short game. Let's see how it plays. So this game just has 13 suspects in it. Each suspect has a name and has some characteristics with them. So you can see Inspector Gregson here has a badge, uh, the fist icon, and the book. The, that's yeah, just That stands for fist, and that stands for journal. So each of them is going to have a different number of icons on them, and each player is going to get a sheet where you'll see all the characters, the icons that are on that character, two to three icons, and then here you can keep information that you want. It also shows how many of each icon there exists amongst all the cards. So you'll shuffle these cards, and you'll take one card out. This is the person who committed the crime, and the rest of the cards you will distribute evenly amongst everybody else. Each person will keep their sheet behind a shield. This shield shows the actions you can take on your turn. You have three actions. One of them is investigate. You pick an icon and you say it out loud. I might say pipe, for example. Then each player who has a pipe raises their hand. That's it. Um, it doesn't matter if you have one, two, three pipes. You raise your hand if you have at least one. Interrogate, you pick somebody else and you say, how many pipes do you have? and they have to tell you exactly how many out loud. And then accuse, this is when you say, I know who this is, it's Sherlock Holmes. No, it's Irene Adler. Okay, fine. Um, and if you look at it, and if you're right, you win the game, and if you're incorrect, you're out of the game, although you have to keep answering questions from other players. That's it. Not a lot here I can say about components. I mean, it's uh, the shields. I <laughs> I know they tried to make these here so that they're language independent. Uh, this is not super helpful, <laughs> the, but uh, the the cards are fine. It is a little odd to me that they didn't like pick a bunch of criminals. You know, just made up their names. It's like they're using. I mean, Sherlock Holmes, the, the rule book's like Sherlock Holmes might have done it. So we just said that whoever the person is who's guilty is the person who ate someone else's lunch from the refrigerator at work. It doesn't actually say what the criminal is. The rules themselves, there's only really one sheet, and then on the back they show you how to use the clue sheet. I really like the way the clue sheets are put together here. It makes it so it's pretty... Obvious, you know, you can write down the different things to keep track of everybody. It's it's a very small production, but it's fine. One of my favorite deduction games is Sleuth. In Sleuth, there is a jewel in the middle of the table, and everyone's trying to figure out where it is. Filling a sheet out with with insane scribblings and the madman markings of a madman. Well, this gives me pretty much the same feeling Sleuth does. But it's much, much lighter, much, much quicker, and I don't feel as crazy when I'm writing stuff down on the paper. So, I like this game. I found it to be an entertaining, quick, fast deduction game. Deduction games can be fairly long. This one I can go, mm, 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 done. Uh, it's more complicated than, say, guess who, but it's, uh, it's interesting. You're sitting here, because every question you ask you are trying to ask a question that gives you the most information and gives everyone else nothing because everyone else hears the question you ask uh, and everyone and everyone can write it down. Like one time, there's five pipes in the game and somebody uh, said to somebody else, uh, how many, I, I had asked them how many pipes they had, two. Later on, that same person said to someone else, how many pipes do you have? Does that other person, that person said three. And I was like, what? Five pipes, done. Every pipe is crossed off the list. They're all accounted for. And that person should not have asked that question, right? Because it was just too much information. And, it well, at least it helped me. 
but who cared because we then immediately played it again. And that's what's neat about the game. It's a game you can play again and again and again and again. Uh, I think for those who like die-hard deduction games, and several of those come out over the course of each year, this you might find to be too simple, too easy. But this is a nice filler, the kind of game you play before everyone gets together, maybe for your big deduction game. This is even a little game you could maybe bring to a dinner table, except for maybe the the sheets and the writing stuff down. But still, I found it to be a quick, fast, entertaining time. I'm not sure the theme, I mean, we're, we're kind of getting Sherlock home to death here at this point in time. And the fact that they're just not a bunch of criminals, and but Sherlock Holmes is one of the suspects, it's neither done in a cheeky, funny manner, but also doesn't make sense thematically manner. It's just kind of a weird thing. But taking that aside, I don't think it matters. You have a small little, almost micro game here that is pretty fun. Sherlock 13, I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved.